Welcome to Tinks Invest, where we talk about investing, finance, and professional women. That's the recording time of 4.36 p.m. on the Eastern Time. Ethereum coin trade $2,336, that about 5.19% so far. With respect to overall crypto market, you see clearly we are still in the red territory at the moment. Uh, despite some surge earlier this morning, as we were digesting the GDP report for Q4. Which was a uh, you know a nice upside surprise um, you know despite the strings of recent underwhelming economical data obviously from Jerome Powell, um, we also got the confirmatory signal from the meeting with the Fed yesterday that there's a confirmatory signal on the March interest hikes that's coming, right? And the interest rates will be supported by the bond purchasing of $30 billion in February of this year, and also subsequently, it will be comparable in March as well. In addition to that, uh, on the uh, GTP report, just to look at this in a more granular perspective, uh, seems like on this uh, on Q4 number, it jumped by 6.9% from the year prior, which is a nice surprise, right? Um, and with that surprise, we had an initial jump across the entire market, right, on the pre-market perspective. Also, basically, durating from 9.30 a.m. on the Eastern Time when the market opened, all the way until, like, I was looking at, across the chart, like, around 10.45, 11 a.m. on the Eastern Time. And then as we durated, uh, the interest rate seems like it was hiking again. It was touching 1.9% all over again. And when that happens... Uh, being triggered by just more uncertainty uh, among the market, the entire market, including uh, the blockbuster report that came out from Tesla on the Q4 earnings report yesterday, that it surged up all the way to $942, but subsequently it reversed back down. And today was a relatively sizable correction down about 11%, despite the report was already positive, right? Um, so again, right, when you hear no specific negative news, uh, but just more uncertain news, it's actually worse than you telling someone that's a bad news, right? It's kind of like kind of pinching them away, uh, or just try to jerk their emotions. I think that's way worse. It's more like a long-term water torture than a big slap in the face. And I think that's what the market is doing to us right now. It's like giving giving us this like long term uh, water torture. Some day is up, great. Some day is down, not so good. But if you do this for a long duration of time, you know you will start to lose confidence among investors. So let's just dive right into the technical analysis uh, after digesting this news. And sorry for posting a little bit later than usual. I just had a really long day today. Um, back-to-back -back meetings I have I think eight meetings in total and I was also like working on a presentation as well so I'm just like completely slammed today I'm just I'm like trying to catch a breath at the moment but again I, I don't want to be leaving you guys hanging so I want to just come back on a camera and hopefully you guys um, excuse my low energy I'm just uh, trying to catch my breath I feel like I've been just like screaming in front of my screen the whole day today on the computer engaging with people even though I'm not physically doing much, but my mind has been just like all like wired completely, and my mouth has not been not moving for the last five hours so far. I've just been talking consecutively. I've been drinking my coffee and my water, which I can show you how big the water jug that I drink on it. This is like a typical Tropicana bottle. I think I think I drank like one and a half so far. <laughs> so I'm like. A I'm like a fish or something. <laughs> Anyways, so with respect to recording time of 4.40 p.m. on the Eastern Time, Ethereum country $2,345, down about 4.88% so far. And right now you can see that clearly we're laying on a comfortable level, right, approximating from the 3, 2,350. And the next level then we need to get down to, if we were to go, go back down, would be the 2,150. If we get momentum upward, we'll be at the 2,620 and then subsequently the 2,850. With the 24 out of 70, so very oversold still because of the uncertainty, right? Uncertainty is always worse than negative news, right? So, so despite all of the positive news that we've been getting so far, because it's still shaky, 
in the outlook is driving uh, just more fear monger. So respect to Bitcoin's that about close to 3%, uh, anywhere from the current level all the way to 34 would be the technical resistance level with the 27 out of 70 still oversold, so still a logical level to incur risk at. Obviously way better than when we were surging all the way to 70K earlier the last year. Um, obviously right now is in the complete opposite side of the coin, uh, being on the negative side, obviously. Respect to Dogecoin, I like anywhere from the current level all the way to 1201 uh, and with the 27 out of 70, so still logically a good level to buy at the level. Cardano is now about 5%, uh, bouncing from 102. Anything Anywhere from 102 all the way to 92 is still fair game. I think wait until we break below $1, I think 92 is a fair level to incur risk. Solano is at 86 right now, down about 4%. Uh, I like anywhere from current level all the way to 66 from here at the 23 out of 70, so it's not terrible at the moment. XRP is down about 2.5%. I like anywhere from the uh, 57 um, as a bottom. I think technically 55 is the bottom, but real level, if you look at historicals, is basically 57 as a bounce. So I do foresee a bounce if we get further down. Um, but we're already oversold, so we're looking for a reason to rebound. So I like anywhere from current level all the way to 55 from here. Polkadot's flat right now. Um, I think right now it's already really oversold. So anywhere from current level all the way to the 15 uh, cents. Uh, $15 would be a good level to incur risk. Algorand's flat as well, uh, 89 right now. Anywhere from current level to 80 is still logical. Shiba Inu is now about 1.25% at the low 2000s right now. Again, right, low 2000s to 1400, 900 are the respective levels to a dollar cost average at. MAC is now about 3%. 143 to 120 from here are the logical levels to incur risk. Again, right, the fun fundamental always holds, is within the frame, right? AVAX down about 6%, uh, anywhere from the 59 to 50 are the logical level to incur risk based on the current setup right now. It's, it is already oversold, but if you want to take more of a logical risk, uh, anywhere from 59 to 50 are still, still logical. Luna is now about 7.84% at 54 right now. I like anywhere from, uh, you know, again, uh, 62, 52 to 45. We are touching 52 momentarily. We touched that earlier today. Uh, and right now is the logical level to incur risk right now. 52 to 45 from here, okay? In respect to risk management, level, these are the levels to identify for the respective coins. Again, for my Patreon members, you already see the 120-ish plus crypto and stocks that I've updated already. So let me know if you have any questions. Again, more volatility due to more uncertainty. And uh, it's a painful one because um, this is something that is um, is logical why it's uncertain because you know we've been in, enduring the sell-off um, or this you know pandemic for about two and a half years now. So and to do that to sustain our economy was to be printing money. Now we have to basically dial back and someone has to pay for it. And we collectively are paying for it because of the um, the maneuver that we're experiencing from the feds, right? So it's not the best, but you know, Jerome has a tough job, um, but ultimately we're collectively paying for it, right? So, but if you're taking the logical risk right now, just hold it for a long term as we rewire this and work itself out over time, we'll be just fine. So hopefully this is helpful. Sorry for the late post again. Uh, I'm exhausted. I still have another meeting afterwards. I, I have a meeting in basically 15 minutes now, so I have to get, get myself ready again. Well, it's a never-ending cycle, so apologies again. Uh, take care. Bye.